If I walked into your living room with a bucket of garbage and dumped it right on your floor, how would you react? You'd probably be furious, right? You might grab a broom and demand I clean it up, or you'd call the police, or maybe even consider taking stronger action. No one in their right mind would tolerate garbage being thrown into their living space. And yet, every day, many of us allow mental garbage to be dumped into our minds without a second thought. We're constantly bombarded with negative news, unproductive content, and thoughts that drag us down. Just as you would never let someone dump trash in your home, you should be just as vigilant about what you allow into your mind. The things you read, watch, and listen to have a profound impact on your thoughts, your attitude, and ultimately, your life. Albert Einstein once said that it takes 11 positive inputs to counteract one negative input. Think about that for a moment. It's a lot harder to recover from negative influences than to maintain a positive mindset. This means that if we're not careful, the negativity around us can pile up and become a significant barrier to achieving our goals. So how do we protect our minds from this garbage? It starts with being intentional about what we feed our minds. Just like you nourish your body with healthy food, you need to nourish your mind with positive, uplifting and empowering content. Here's how you can start. Listen to motivational recordings. One of the easiest ways to fill your mind with good stuff is by listening to motivational recordings. Whether you're driving to work, exercising, or doing household chores, these recordings can turn mundane moments into opportunities for growth. Research has shown that by listening to educational content during your daily commute, you could gain the equivalent of two years of college education in just three years. And this isn't just theory. Successful people like Mary Kay Ash, the founder of Mary Kay Cosmetics, and astronauts who have walked on the moon have made listening to motivational content a daily habit. Another powerful way to feed your mind is through reading. If you commit to reading just 20 minutes a day, by the end of the year, you will have read 20 books. That's a massive advantage in a world where the average person only reads one good book a year. The knowledge you gain and the ideas you'll encounter can set you apart from the crowd in whatever field you're in. The key to making these practices effective is consistency. Listening to or reading something positive once in a while isn't enough. You need to immerse yourself in positive content regularly. Listen to motivational recordings at least 16 times to fully absorb the message and make it a part of you. Over time, this repeated exposure will lead to a shift in your thinking, turning decisions into commitments and commitments into actions that will change your life. But here's the thing, don't just turn to positive content when you're feeling down. Yes, motivational recordings can lift your spirits when you're struggling, but the best time to engage with this content is when you're already feeling good. When you're in a positive state, your mind is more open, creative, and receptive to new ideas. This is when the magic happens. Your mind starts connecting the dots, and suddenly you're brimming with fresh ideas and energy. These are the moments when you can take your life to the next level. So I challenge you to take control of what goes into your mind. Guard it fiercely, just like you wouldn't let anyone dump garbage in your living room. Don't let negative or unproductive content take up space in your mind. Feed your mind with the good, the clean, the pure, the powerful, and the positive. Do this and watch as your life transforms because you are what you think and what you think is shaped by what you let into your mind. Remember, you can change your life by changing what goes into your mind. Start today. Listen, read, and be consistent. Feed your mind with the best and the best will come out of you.